in this video I'm gonna show you how to create the flash symbol use it for the thermal relief um, now first start the AutoCAD PCB editor using the AutoCAD PCB designer go to star start select open PCB editor now select file and click on new we are creating the flash symbol so select the flash symbol in the drawing type and click browse and select the appropriate folder and click open type the drawing name as tr underscore 80 underscore 60 and click ok the flash symbol file is created now now go to setup click on design parameters and select the design here and make sure the size in the size locate the size section in the design parameter editor form choose the size as a and the accuracy to 0 and the long name size as 31 come to the extend section select the left X as minus 2200 and the lower Y as minus 2400 and click OK. The flash editor has a built in routines to create the most of our normal thermal relief flashes, but we can also create our own thermal relief by adding the series of file shapes on the each class and top subclass to create the thermal relief Let's go to add and click on the flash now fill these definitions here in the thermal pad definition change the inner diameter as 60 and the outer diameter as 80 mm, in the spoke definition column select the sp spoke width as 15 number of spokes 4 and the spoke angle is 45 and click ok to view the thermal relief go to view click zoom fit the new thermal relief is created now now save the file go to file save as and click the file name uh, put the file name as tr underscore 80 underscore 60 and make sure the table save as type as make sure the format is uh, is in .drf file it makes you uncheck the change directory the PCB editor make sure area confirm that and click on save now now the thermal relief thermal relief is created um, the PCB editor message show area confirm that the database tr underscore 80 underscore 60 the PCB editor message confirm that data database underscore click to save the file and the PCB editor message area confirm that the database tr underscore uh, 80 underscore 60 dot dra has been saved to the disk and the, the graphics file you use it when editing the flash symbol in the future if needed now go to file and exit now I'm gonna show you how to create the pad stacks for the through hole pin devices I use a pad, pad design and to create the pad stack for a through hole pin mm, in the in this in this mm, for to create the round pad stack mm, I'm gonna mm, create this for create the round pad stack I'm gonna name it as a 60c 38d because the, uh, the pad stack is in the 60 milli diameter circular pad with the 38 milli plated hole. Now, starting the pad stack editor, go to start and open the pad designer. Now, first of all, create the new file, new, and write down write down the pad stack name as 60C 38D because. I'm gonna create the 60 millimeter diameter circular pad with 38 milli plated hole and click OK here. 
now in the drill hole drill slot hole section change the hole type as the circular and the plated uh, and the plating as the plated plated and the drill diameter as 38 and the tolerance as 0 and offset x is as 0 and offset y as 0 in the drill slot symbol section change the figure to circle character to a and width and height as 60 okay now I'm gonna I'm gonna describe the begin layer pad select the layers tab here and select the begin layer now now go to the go to the regular pad section Ch um, change the geometry as circle and the width as 60 and the height as 60 now come to the thermal relief section mm, the, um, change geometry as circle and width as 80 and height as 82 in the anti pad section check the flat change the geometry as circle and change mm, all right the width as 80 and the height as 80 now the begin layer pad is now d defined now I'm gonna describe the default interval and the end layer because of the default interval and the end layer pads are generally same size and the shape as the begin layer we can use the cop we can copy the begin layer parameters to the default interval and the end layer now go to the begin layer and select it and click uh, right click on the BGN button select the copy to all we can mm, check the what are the factors we need to copy to the default and the end layer mm, the, mm, click OK and you can see the message that mm, that um, the begin layer parameters are copied to the default uh, default interval and the end layer here now now defining the thermal flash mm, and we need to define thermal flash for the default interval layer click the default interval layer and you know, scroll down the button in the thermal relief geometry field and change it as circle to the flash and the browse the file Bra click on the browse button and select the tr underscore 80 underscore 60 which we created recently and click ok now the real sh should appear as here now we're going to define the solder mass requirement select <coughs> select the solder mass top and change uh, fill out the values in the regular pad section select geometry as circle width as 70 and the height as 72 now we will copy the sol top solder mask definition to the bottom solder mask right click on the button here select copy and the right click on the button next to the solder mask button click paste we can observe the message down here the pasting to the solder mask button now save the file click file and save it now pass tag file 60c 38d.pad is created and save it to the disk, disk. now we go on a describing describing the begin layer and, and end layer pads for the pin 1 now come to the uh, highlight the click on the layers and select the begin and now we are going to describing the begin layer and then layer pads for the pin 1 and select the layers tab to bring it up to the top of the form mm, select the begin layer here um, and come to the regular pad section regular pad section and change it as the uh, geometry as square now to copy the begin layer pad definition use the uh, right click on the bgn button 
and click on the copy now paste the begin layer to the end layer click on the right click on the end and click paste here now we're gonna describe the solder mask pad for the pin one and click on the solder mask top and come to the regular pad section change the geometry as square and and select the solder mask bottom and the change the geometry as the square now we, we just create we uh, and go to the file and save as and change uh, cha write the file name as 60s 38d now we just finished the describing the bing layer and the end layer pads for the pin 1 and as well as the solder solder mask pads now i'm going to show you how to create the pad stack for the surface mounted devices click on save and save the file now i'm going to show you how to create the pad stack for surface mount devices go to file create a new file and write uh, write the pad stack name as 76 into 24 smd because this is this this is a 76 milli and 24 milli re rectangular pad with no drill holes drilled holes and click on the o oh, click ok and the layers tab make sure uh, make sure check the tick mark on the single layer mode now we can observe that the default interval on the end layer is no longer appear there is no need for the singular single layer pad stack uh, select the begin layer now go to the regular pad section and select geometry as geometry as the rectangle write the dimensions as 76 into 24 come to the thermal relief section select the geometry as rectangle and change the width as 96 and height as 44 in the anti pad section change the geometry as rectangle and width and height as 96 and 44 now we're going to define the solder mask pad check click on the solder mask top go to the regular pad section change the geometry as rectangle mm, width as 86 and the height as 34 now now we're gonna describe the paste mask pad mm, go to uh, because this is the surface mount paste stack pass stack you will need to define the paste mark top and by as uh, by copying the begin layer right click on the begin layer bzn button click on copy mm, right click uh, click the right click on the button next to the paste mask top right click on it and click pa paste even through the begin layer pad has the definitions for thermal relief on the anti pad those are not applicable to the solder paste layer so those definitions are not copied only the regular pad definitions are copied and there is no solder mask bottom on the paste mask bottom pads defined or required if a part is placed on the bottom side of the board the system will automatically move all the definitions from the top layer to the bottom layer for the surface mount pass tag you only need require the begin layer solder mask top and the paste mask top layers all other, all other others should read the null now save the file and the file is saved and this is how how we we create the pass tag for the surface mounted devices thank you